What's up? Today we are back in the shop again working on the Camaro. Which isn't here because it's at my dad's house because it's his car. But uh, we're still working on the car. We just have parts here. So I read your guys' comments um, about everything that you guys wanted to see done to this car and your ideas on everything. And I think we've sort of come up with a general game plan. So to start, we're thinking we're actually going to keep a small block Chevy, convert it to manual, and boost up the power a bit, uh, shooting for the at least 350 uh, horsepower range. We also want to do a lot of suspension work, so we've been looking at like the Hotchkiss Stage 1 uh, suspension setups with some nice sticky rubber. We're trying to keep this whole thing on a pretty tight budget, um, so that's our reasoning for sticking with the small block, but we're probably going to go with the T5 transmission so that if we ever want to LS swap it, all we have to do is swap bell housings and you know all the other work and stuff. But thinking about everything, we decided to call this car the Project Mullet because you have to have a mullet if you're going to drive that car, otherwise you're doing it wrong. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> we want to do some fun things with this car though, not just do a generic run-of-the-mill uh, build. We want to do some, you know, more custom stuff. So I've got one of the fenders here today, which is actually a bad fender. Um, it was in an accident, it has all sorts of dents and stuff. and. If they were expensive, we tried to recover it, but these are only like 150 bucks for the repop ones. So, so I pulled this off the car um, to do some experimentation with. Uh, we'd like to do fender flares on this car, and I uh, was thinking about doing them out of fiberglass, but we decided to try to do them out of steel. And since this is essentially a scrap fender, since it's getting replaced anyways, I'm going to try to make a flare on this. Um, well, not make a flare. I'm going to try to flare this fender. Uh, and see if I can get it to work. If I can get it to work and it looks good, then we're going to do them to the reproduction ones um, so it's all perfectly straight sheet metal. So this is sort of the start of the build. We're going to be doing this to all four uh, quarter panels if I can figure out a way to get this to work. I've got a couple ideas. Um, so I'm going to try to do it out of steel first, just sheet metal. If I fail on it, I'm going to try to put the fender back together uh, the way it was originally as much as I can and then try to do it out of fiberglass. So let's get started. So this fender is huge and here's my idea for it. Um, essentially I want to make an incision, a cut along, uh, right along this body line where it goes flat, right above it. Okay, all the way around until about I'm even with this side on here. And then take a body hammer and stretch this lip out and then put about an inch strip of uh, sheet metal in between there, weld it all together and see how that goes. So, I think what I'm gonna do is just start drawing on this, um, figuring out where my cut is gonna be and how it all is gonna look. And then I guess just uh, take the angle grinder to it and go for it. Since we're replacing this, luckily I can't really ruin it. I've got another front fender I guess I can play with too. That one's a lot more trashed though, a lot more beat up and stuff so that's why we are using this one uh, to start with because it's in a little bit better condition so at least I can get an idea of what it'll be like once I do it to a real fender that's actually going to be used. I just wanted to show you guys though, I'm not, uh, I've never really worked on old American stuff. All my old cars have been like old German uh, cars. I've had a 73 bug, 73 Porsche and then another 70 bug so uh, yeah, I'm used to that sort of engineering. This is like a totally different world, even though it's the same exact era. Like this fender is, in my Subaru, this was touching my rear glass, and that was in between the front driver's seats. Like it is massive. And look at the size of the fender. It is actually like the inner fender well too, and it weighs like 40 pounds. It like, this is not what I'm used to. And also this is a big reason why this fender is trashed. Uh, that's Bondo and dirt. On the outside, it just looks like a little bit of rust, but it's pretty much done. For the price, there's really no reason to just not replace it. But yeah, I'm going to get drawing on it, uh, just with the Sharpie and stuff, and sort of get my ideas out onto the fender itself. So. I sort of have my line drawn out where I want to cut it. The whole idea behind doing it this way is that it will be uh, subtle, but give us, you know, quite a bit more 
Um, I'm not comparing myself to the Ring Brothers whatsoever, but I don't know if you've seen some of their body panels that they do on like old Mustangs or even old Camaros, but uh, their flares are super subtle and they look amazing and you can't sort of, you sort of can't pinpoint why they look so good and that's sort of what I want to go for on this versus like the Porsche is obviously has, you know, ridiculous over the top flares. I want this to look like stock to someone who doesn't really know. This is going to be like by far the most important part of this process in terms of making it look good because if the cut is jagged then it won't be a straight flare so I'm gonna focus, I'm gonna hold my hands nice and still and hope that it uh, comes out okay. So I just ran the angle grinder along just to give me a channel to actually cut through. Uh, that is a relatively straight cut, so I think I'm just going to go all the way through now. So that actually worked pretty decently. And I actually think this might be easier than I was thinking in the beginning. Look at that, that's gonna look killer. So if you don't really understand what the plan is, let me explain it to you a little bit better. So here's the stock fender and then I'm gonna be pulling it out to here and welding a piece of steel in between. One issue that I'm seeing is with that pulled out, you can tell that this side is a couple millimeters taller now than this side. So what I'm gonna have to do is take a hammer, body hammer, knock this down so that this crease becomes a little bit more closer to 90 degrees and then it goes flat across there instead of, because if I, just welded a flat piece of steel there, it would look super goofy. So, I'll go bust out the body hammer, dolly, all that sorts of good stuff and see what I can do with this. So, uh, it's getting closer, but I want to sort of set in stone how wide I want to try to make this flare. So what I'm going to do is take some metal rod and um, weld it in place so that it holds this out to the size that I want, basically. Um, so then I can make sure that I get the, uh, those angles right with the body hammer. Hopefully not too many of you guys are yelling at me for doing everything wrong just yet, but so far it looks okay, so. All right, so there are my supports. I've got, actually let me measure it. about nine tenths of an inch in there. Uh, if we end up doing this to the actual fenders, then obviously I'm gonna be a little bit more precise about it and make sure they're the same size. But since this is, like I said, just sort of an experiment, um, I'm just sort of going with the flow. So the battery on my camera died, uh, but I wasn't really doing much of anything exciting. Um, I did keep working though. I cut a strip of metal out of the, actually the original quarter panel off the Project 914. 
and uh, grinded it down to this. Took all the paint off of it and shaped it to where basically it fits in here nice and snug. So I'm going to tack weld that piece in and bend it to where it fits. Um, basically I'm going to tack it on one end and then bend it down into the valley and tack it. Keep on going. And then I can uh, cut out more sections of sheet metal for the rest of the fender and uh, basically keep on working. I feel like this is going to be the most tedious part of it, especially the welding, because it's a lot of sheet metal welding for that whole flare. Two uh, basically lines all the way across and have to keep it from warping and also I have to grind it all down afterwards so this should be fun. So there's the first piece um, straight after welding. Ignore the giant spot where I burnt through. It's looking pretty decent. Um, I'm just going to keep on cutting off little sections though and welding them in until I'm pretty much all finished. And then the fun part comes where I can grind it all down and try to make it look like a fender again. Alright, so I have all the steel in the fender. So I thought I'd show it to you guys before I um, start welding it all up. But you can see it tapers up. So it's like a square flare up here and then it uh, really molds into the body up here. Um, so at its widest point, I think I already said it's like 0.9 inches. Um, but I'm gonna weld this whole thing up. I burnt through a couple of spots just because it's a pain and the steel's a little bit thin, the steel that I'm welding it with is. Uh, but yeah, it looks pretty good. The shaping is all uh, there and it looks very subtle, which is sort of the look I was going for. I didn't want it to be like, you know, extreme. I wanted it to look relatively stuck so I'm going to throw some welds on those and then uh, once I'm done with that I can just grind them down and start doing like the I, I'm not gonna do like final body work but I'll just sort of shape it and make it look okay So after a whole bunch of grinding and a whole bunch of welding, um, it's about, I don't know, 85% there. Um, the shape is all good, and I, I'm actually pretty happy with it. So it like flares out right here versus before it only came out of the very top above this body line. Um, and it's super subtle, and I didn't take a picture of what the fender looked like before, and now I can't even like remember what it looks like. Um, what I'm going to do though is now I have a 120 grit flap disc and I'm going to come through and clean it up quite a bit. Um, I don't want to go super crazy with it because like I said this is a scrap fender and this was just like a, uh, just playing around to see how easy, easy this was going to be done because I've never uh, done anything like this before so I didn't want to ruin some brand new fenders. But I'm going to hit it with a flap disc and then paint it a little bit and see how it comes out. There it is painted. Uh, obviously, like I said, I didn't go all out on it. You can still, oh, breathe in the fumes. You can still see like uh, where I welded and that's the edge of where the paint was ground off and stuff. So I just sort of wanted to see the shape and this helps you see the shape a bit better. If I come down on the front. So this was never there. This was even basically with this up here. So it's wider by like, 
like I said, almost a whole inch at the top. And I am sort of in love with the way it looks. A little more work with the flap disc and then some sandpaper and stuff and I could get this looking perfect. But like I said, this is sort of just an experiment to see if I was even capable of doing something like this. And I think this sort of confirms that I probably am able to. Um, because, I mean, maybe another hour's worth of work and it would be pretty close. And then, you know, some body filler and stuff and it would look great. So, I am super happy with how this turned out. This is going to be the end of today's video. Uh, I don't really have much else going on today, so I'm just going to head out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like down below. Um, leave a comment if you, uh, let me know if you like the way these look or if you think they look tacky or whatever. I'm curious to see what you guys think. I think they look pretty good because they are sort of subtle and not, uh, not 1980s fender flare. Those are, you know, you know what I'm talking about? The real round, ugly ones. They don't look like those, so I'm happy about that. Um, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one. Peace out.